Hello, I'm Michael Sanders. In this video we're going to go out of doors and work from the real landscape and I'm going to be showing you some oil painting techniques using methods that have been around for hundreds of years. I'm going to start however by using a colour wheel to teach you how to use brushwork and how to manipulate the paint on uh, a simple colour wheel. So here's our completed colour wheel and if you um, keep it as accurate as you can when you make one try and remember that red is opposite green complementary, blue opposite orange, yellow opposite violet or purple and bear in mind that you can use these to modify so you can modify a, uh, an orange that's too bright with a blue and you can also modify a blue with an orange and the same with all of these colours. So here are a few examples of some complementary colour compositions. This one is purple and yellow and the purple trees in the background, greyish purple trees, offset the yellow daffodils. This is a more subtle example of how to use a complementary colour. The, the colour is predominantly a, a fairly subtle green and I've used red in the foreground down on the left hand side and carried that red into the roofs of the houses behind the trees. Therefore the, the harmony is complete. This one shows a subdued orange against a predominantly blue uh, landscape with uh, the highlight of an orangey red to show just a little bit of colour running down from the light on the tugboat. This is a composition where there's predominantly blues and blue greys, maybe even turquoise blues, uh, offset by the orange colour along the gunnels of the boat and the, the figure in the background. And right down in the foreground where we've got some moss and some dark stones, I want to bring the foreground right towards me. Stay, staying with a knife now, dark greyish brown uh, in amongst these stones. That will bring this area into the foreground. And I think that as a, as a little fairly rapid oil sketch works fairly well. I'm quite pleased with that now. And at that point, what I should say to myself is stop messing about. And so I'm going to stop messing about and call that finished. <laughs> 